what's up, what's up, you two? What's up, folks? Yep, yes, sir. We are headed out towards Dallas. That's right, we're headed towards Dallas. We have 445 miles to go. And, uh, yeah, we're coming into Jackson. We're about eh, 30 miles outside of Jackson. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's Jackson, Mississippi, folks. Anyhow. And, uh, yeah. So let's see if we can make it today. I've already traveled uh, 310 miles. So 450 and 310 is, uh, yeah, that's 760 miles. It can be done, folks. The most I've done before was 765, so it can be done. You just got to keep that left door closed and keep your foot in the floor. So, yep, yep. Let's go. Coming in at Jackson now. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah. Got 52 miles to the state line. That's where we'll be crossing over the mighty Mississippi River. Oh, look at here. Got a sign here that says, Distracted driving is not the vibe. See? Well, it's not flashing. That's weird how LED lights flash on camera, but they're not flashing to the naked eye. But anyhow. Anywho. Yeah. Uh, somebody was losing some paint down in the middle lane here. Yep, yep. All right, I lost my train of thought. Anyhow, we coming into Jackson, yeah, and uh, I'll get back with you folks when we get into Jackson. Jackson is paving the road, yeah, buddy. I guess somebody might have seen one of my videos and heard me complaining about how bad these road now, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it was that, but anyhow, it's a good thing to see they paving. But yeah, this was. Oh, see, and the bumps are still pretty bad. But yeah, this was the town that got me started on YouTube. Uh huh. Come in here one day and was not. Yeah, I just went on a rant. OGs know about this, but I went on a rant, and, uh, yeah, I went on a rant, and then, uh, posted it, and it got a few views, and, yeah, so I continued on, and I'm still going, yeah, yeah. I surely didn't think I, I, I'd stick to the daily vlog like I have been doing, but, you know, once I started getting them daily views and, and everything, I, you know, I might as well keep it up. Yep, yep. And, yeah, as as right now, I watch all my videos from beginning to end and not have one iota of, uh, what do they call it, um, ads? Yeah, yeah. You can watch my YouTube all day long and not see one ad. <laughs> uh, I guess that's bad for me because I'm not getting paid for all this shit, but it is what it is. Sooner or later I'll get there. <laughs> but anywho, no, no, big bumps, big bumps, more bumps, yep, yep, all right, all right, so, yeah, ooh, 
she got legs. She knows how to move, big bone. Yeah. I hope that wasn't horse piss coming out the back of that trailer flying up on my truck. Well, if it was, it was. Anywho, alright folks. Yeah. It's still bumpy through here, but you can see they are working on it. But I will get back with you folks here shortly. Still being thrown around, even with the new pavement. The whoopie doos are still there. Yeah, I know I've said it before, but they got rid of the potholes and kept the the uh, what do you want to call it? <laughs> the humps, the whoops, the, the whoops, or hell, I don't know what to call them. I just know they they still there. See, yep, yeah, there's another one. But anywho, I guess it's better than all the potholes. Hey, folks, we're nine miles from the state line. Nine miles. Alright folks, right around this corner here is going to be the mighty Mississippi River. Yep, yep. And halfway across the bridge here will be in Louisiana. Yeah, I know. But it's daily life of a OPR on a dedicated route. I mean, read the description. That's what I do, folks. The same thing over and over. Yeah. Welcome to Louisiana. Welcome to Louisiana. We are in Louisiana now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I ate a, a cup of chocolate pudding and now I feel like I'm going to throw up. I don't know. Oh, what the hell was in that pudding that got my stomach all twisted? It's not good. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like Louisiana scale is open today. Yeah, yeah. See if we get the green light or not. Yep, and that feeds the green light, folks. Let's go. All right, here we are passing this oversized. I'll give him some space. Because we are coming up to an overpass. I don't want to crowd them. Yep, yep. Well, I know how that shit is when you're hauling oversized and you get crowded. Got another oversized that he, he got these old sheds. I need one of those in the house. Yeah, I sure do. But I need a car more than I need a shed. Anybody got a car they want to donate? I need a car. That's pretty nice beer built full of them sheds. But yeah, I done been four months, five months now without a car. I need a car, man, God. Drive me crazy. I've tried. And just, you know. Yeah, folks. What I was talking about, uh, donation, yeah. Somebody could donate me a car. I don't care if it needs some work. You know, I, I ain't above. As long as I ain't got to replace the engine or, or transmission or something like that, you know. But needing tires or needing a starter or needing, you know, brakes, that's all good. You got old cars sitting around just needing something simple. Donated to somebody in need, folks, and I'm in need. I've been four months without a vehicle. 
Uh, no, it's been longer than that. It's probably been this. Yeah. I got that card in February, and it is now July, so yeah, and it got wrecked five days after I got it, so five months without a vehicle. And I've tried, I've looked around, and you know, I just, I can't come up with two or three thousand dollars to put down on a car because that's what they want. I mean, that's what I had to put down on the last one was two thousand. I don't have a spare thousand or two thousand laying around to pay cash for a car. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, uh, uh. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait till tax time to buy me another vehicle. I've tried getting a personal loan, you know, a $3,000 to $5,000. I've even tried to get a $2,000. Tried to get a personal loan. That didn't work out. So, yeah. And it don't bother me that bad. I mean, because I'm in this truck all the time. The ones are suffering is my wife and basically my wife. The boys, they don't really care. They, because she's the one that's got to do all the walking to, to the stores and the, and the locker mats and everywhere else. She puts four little thing walks three to five miles every day. We go on to grocery store, just going to the convenience stores. And, it's, and one one way is uh, about a mile and a half from the house, so if she wants to just walk down and get a two liter of Pepsi or cigarettes or whatever, yeah, it's a three mile walk. So, anyhow, now, I'll just put that out there. If anybody got an old car laying around they want to donate, I'm in need, please. All right, folks, here we are in Rayville, Louisiana. Yep, yep. <laughs> There's the, uh, the big white cross. Yep, yep. That's right. And then, uh, Oh. All right, we got 320 miles to go, folks. 320 to go. There we are. We coming into Monroe. That's right, Monroe, Louisiana. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. So let's go. Here we are, getting 
getting on 220. That's right, the 220 bypass around Shreveport. Yep, yep. It says Bozier City, Louisiana. Bozier City. We have an hour and 50 minutes left on the clock. We have three hours to get to Dallas. So we still an hour and 10 minutes short. No matter which way I slice it. I made up some time, but not enough to get there. But anywho, it is what it is. I'm going to get on into Texas anyhow. And then I'll get in and out of Dallas pretty early in the morning where maybe I won't have to deal with no traffic. Yep, yep. That's the goal anyhow, folks. To get over into Texas and start early in the morning where I don't have to fight no traffic. So, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yep, yep, folks. We are almost to Cross Lake. Yep, yep, almost across Lake here. We're on 220, we're about seven miles, six miles from being back on 20. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And then, uh, once we get into Texas, I think we're gonna go to Kilgore. That's probably where I'm going to stop at today is Kilgore. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll see when we get there. Oh, yep, yep. Let's go. All right, folks, here we are. This is Cross Lake. Yep, yep, Cross Lake. Yes, sir. And it being 90 degrees on Saturday. And look at this. A lake this empty. Now, we was in Florida. There'd be jet skis and boats everywhere. But we're in Louisiana on a Saturday on a lake. It is empty. What's wrong, people? <laughs> Y'all lived on it so long and the water don't amuse you no more? Come on. All right, folks, here we are. We are almost back to I 20. I got to get my ass over into that right lane pretty quick, or I'm going to miss my exit. So, yeah, let's get on over here. And then that, oh, big bump, big bump, yep, oh, big bump, big bumps, yep, yep. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Jeez. Anywho. Yep. Right here we go. One up there. Okay. You'll see it in a second. wash is backed up today. The truck wash is clear up here at exit 8. We might go on and just stop there for today and get the truck washed. Yep, yep. No, but if I know if I stop there, I won't go no further, so never mind. Squash that idea. We're not getting no truck wash today. Nope, nope. Continue on I-20. So now we are 10 miles from the state line. Okay. 
We have a traffic jam, folks. Yep, yep. So this, I was not expecting. No, no, no. Oh, Lord. I may be stopping early. Yes, sir. They got the Peterbilt boat. Yep, yep. Uh, so... Uh, yeah. The truck wash is backed up, folks, so I will not be going over there. And this is all due to the right lane being closed up ahead, is what it says. Look at that. There goes another one of them yellow peeps. That's a different one. Yep, yep. But anyhow, no, I will not. Matter of fact, I'm just going to be one of those people. Yep, yep. Oh, great. Now I get stuck behind one of these old shiny hineys and got to look at myself in this trailer. Oh, I don't want to see that. No. My truck's dirty. Anywho. Well, I made it to the one lane section. Had to get a little bit aggressive, but yeah, we made it. I'll probably get the number one sign up here once we get back into the two lane section, but that's okay. I don't feel like I'm doing my job properly if I don't get that at least once a day. So, yep, yep. Anywho, we're five miles from uh, Texas. Five miles from being in Texas, that's right. And then, uh, yeah. All right. So, let's go. Let's go. We're back on the move. Let's see how many number ones I get. Of course, Louisiana Way Station is closed. Yep, yep, it's closed, folks. And now we're coming up on the Texas State Line. Yep, yep. Oh no, it's open. Got people in there. They've just pulled out money. Somebody said the bypass. Give everybody the bypass because it was full. Man, I'm coming over. Jesus Christ, people that they I don't understand. Alright, folks, welcome to Texas. Welcome to Texas. Yep, yep. We're now in Texas. And I'm fixing to get cussed at or called in on or something. Well, no, we're not quite in Texas yet. We're about a half a mile away. Ooh, look at that old flat top over there. Yeah. Buddy, that's what I'm talking about. All right, there's the sign, folks. Welcome to Texas. Now we're in Texas, so let's roll, let's go. Yes, sir, yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. All right, folks, we got about 40 miles to where I plan on stopping, 39, 40 miles, something like that. So, yep, yep, we got an hour left on the clock, so we gonna get there just in time. So let's go. Alright folks, alright, alright, we're about 10 miles. Well, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's 10 miles from stopping. And, uh, yep. I'll get back with y'all shortly. Alright folks, our exit is coming up. The next exit, yep, yep, that's gonna be our exit. Oh, there's a truck up ahead of us. He's burning his brakes up. If he don't stop soon and do something about that shit, he's going to be on fire. Because all I've smelt the last 20 miles has been brakes. Burnt brakes. And 
said, I can see them up there smoking, but I can't catch up to them to let them know. Over there. Over but the whole truck. Anyhow, yeah, buddy. Here we are. Whoa! There's three people sitting here. I wasn't expecting that. Better stop quick. Quick stop. Quick stop. Oop, oop, oop. No, he kept, he kept on going. Oh, yeah. A CTSV limo. What a deal. All right, folks. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. All right, folks. All right. We're here. Yep, yep. I ain't stayed here in a while. But we're here now. And, yeah. We'll go in here and top our drinks off and... And I got to find somewhere to park and cook and all oh, that good happy horse shit. Yep, yep. So let's go. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at there. Look at there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's that Peterbilt. Yep, yep. That old classic XL. Passed him on the highway earlier. All right, folks. They're going to take a little trip. Through the truck wash, see or truck wash up. Dirt truck stop and see what we see. So let's go. I ain't got no shorts here lately, so this is what I gotta do to get my shorts, and I've I've been doing this for a while. <sighs> I already got a tank on the back of that truck. A little mini tank, but it's a tank. Yep. All right, all right. Yep, yep. We have a Peterbilt here and a W9. There's us a W9. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, Kenworth. With the big old sleeper. Yep, yep. And right there was my parking spot. And it's already been taken that quick. Within five minutes, my parking spot was taken. Yep, yep. What a deal. All right, folks. We're going to get on out of here. We are 140 miles from Dallas. And, uh, yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get to Dallas before rush hour hits. We should get to the yard at 5 o'clock. It's 2.45 Central Time. So, yeah. We should get to Dallas about 5 a.m. Central Time. So, yep. Let's go. All right, folks, here we go, getting on the big road. Yep, yep. So, let's go, let's go. Uh, it is on. Eastbound side of the highway is shut down. There was two trucks that's in the middle of the lane. One of them burned up, but they all tangled up right there. Got the whole eastbound side of the highway closed off. Right there. Uh, yeah, about the 580. 579, I think. There's an exit there. They'll be getting you off and right back on. Oh, man. The bees are back in the dash. I ain't heard them in a while. Man, why they have to come back today? Lord. Oh, well. It's Sunday morning out here, folks. I'm hoping to uh, have no issues. 
already got my load over here in Dallas. All I gotta do is get in there and pick it up. And then uh get right back out of Dallas. Hopefully before any traffic decides to, to come out. Maybe everybody's sleeping in the day. So yeah. We're 120 miles from being there now. 120 folks. 120. Alright folks, alright, we're down to 100 miles from delivery and pickup. 100 miles. That's right, we'll be there. It's saying 5 minutes to 5 a.m. 5 till 5 Central Time. But we well, should be able to knock at least yeah, about 10 minutes off of that by the time we get there. So we'll see, as long as no traffic or nothing happens, we should be in good shape. We're going to be going right through downtown Dallas tonight, or this morning, with all the lights. It ought to look pretty cool going into Dallas this morning. Yep, yep. So, let's go, let's go. Alright folks, alright, we are 35 miles, well 38 miles from uh, that 175 cut road, yep, yep, that's the one that dropped us right downtown Dallas on 45, so that's the one I'm going to take this morning, and uh, yeah, we are uh, 65 miles from our dropping up, so yep, yep, let's go! Right here's the 80 bypass over the 30, but we're gonna go on past it. Yeah, yeah, well, we want that 175. That way it dumps us right downtown. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I want to get a few of it all lit up coming in from this way. I, I've seen it coming out all lit up, but I haven't seen it going in all lit up. It's a totally different view. So we fixing to get it going in. Yep, yep. Alright folks, we are two and a half miles from the 175 cut road. Yep, yep, two and a half miles. Oh, and normally it's a pain in the bars to get across to get to that exit. But normally when there's traffic, Hopefully it ain't gonna be too bad this morning because traffic ain't too bad, so yeah. Anyhow. I'll get back with y'all here in about two miles. Now right here, we're gonna lose the right lane, so yeah. I'm gonna stay right here where I'm at. And then uh as soon as we come around this curve here. I got to immediately get across two or three lanes and well, I would say traffic, but ain't no traffic. It was pretty good this morning. But yeah, right here. And it is three lanes I got to get across to make the exit. Yeah. Right here. To US 175 West. Is the 175 West. And yeah. It's a short curve. So you got to go from 70 to 35 pretty quick. But Yep, we survived. We survived now. We gonna get over here. Oh, I can already see the city on US off in the distance. You can see the one tall building that's lit up green this morning. The other morning it was lit up red the last time, yeah, I come through here in the dark. Y'all look way out there in the distance. Y'all can see it. But you can't really tell what it is. Alright, I'll get back with you folks when we get downtown. Hey folks, here we go. Now you can 
see it. The skyline over there to the left, you see the, the green building, the big high rise is all lit up green. Yeah, we're gonna be going right by that here soon. We're about two miles from being on 45. Yep, yep. And then uh we are twenty-two miles from delivery. Yep, there it is folks. There is the Dallas skyline. Yes, sir. Take exit two eighty six A. We're gonna be all lit in here in a minute. Yeah, here we are, folks. We coming into downtown. Yep, yep. Take exit 286A on the right toward 35A North. Looks pretty cool. All oh, this looks cool. I always love coming into the big cities when they're all lit up. Yep. About 17 miles from delivery. Yeah, yeah. About 17 miles from delivery. And I need to get over one lane. There we go. And yep, that's where I need to be at right here. Then take the exit toward the 35A North. Okay, and here comes that overpass, and then we go under the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. After the tunnel, take the exit on the right to 35A North. All right, all right. Get around this curve. Ooh. Slow down. Yeah, them lights are glowing on the side of that building. That looks cool, too. Oh, there goes the police. Yep, yep. Get one more lane. Take the exit on the right to the 35 Eagle. Alright. Here we are going under the tunnel. There's some other tunnels here in Dallas, too. I, I've never been in, I guess a, I don't know, I, I seen somebody on YouTube walking through some tunnels in Dallas, I guess they for foot traffic, for people to, to go all over the place. Ah, check out the ball over there. See the ball? Yeah. Just change, yeah. Doing all kind of crazy stuff. Either of the two right lanes. Yep, yep. Then take the exit to the 35 North. There's that big building. That looks cool. Four miles to our next turn. I'll get back with y'all there. All right, folks. All right, we're six miles from delivery, and yeah, look at the big flags are flying on both sides of the road here this morning. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
55 or 60 degrees. We don't do no more California, so you know, we, if we're going to Cleveland and you pick your trailer up in Austell, you know you got to drop the temperature 5 degrees. And if you're taking a trailer from here down to Waco, you got to raise it 5 degrees. So, yep, yep. Anywho, here we are, folks. We are now here. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get in here and do our dropping hook. Yes, yep. Dallas Yard on the right. All right, all right. So let's go, let's go. And another load successfully delivered. So, yep, I'll get back with y'all when I get through the gate. All right, all right. So now, we gonna go in here and do this dropping hook. Yep, yep. T39. Once I drop this one, that's the trailer. I gotta find this T39. This yard looks kind of full. Yep, yep. Alright. There's one of ours on the left, but that ain't, I definitely ain't what I'm looking for. 157. Alright. Well, there's 51. Still no hole to put this load in. Alright. Now we got somewhere to drop it. Yep. Alright, here 
we go. Alright, alright. Everything's disconnected. Dumping airbags. And now let's pull away. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. back up and try to find our trailer not there not there Folks, I got my load all hooked up, everything checked out, and now I'm gonna pull out here and scale it on the way out and make sure the weight's good, and then, uh, yeah, make our way back out of Dallas. So, let's go, folks. All right, we think we can pull on the scale here. And these scales, like I've said before, only does one axle at a time. So let's get the steer axle and see what it weighs. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. The LEDs ain't flashing today like they normally do. It's 11.3 on the steers. I get the drives. Eleven three on the steers. What we got on the drive? Ooh, thirty-five two twenty on the drives. So that's uh, three holes. I got to move it so far. All right, what we got here? And let's see. And 32,200. If I move it three holes, that's 1,200 pounds. A four hole, 1,600 pounds would make that 33,8. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Move it four holes, make that 33,8. Oh, yep, yep. Let's go. I'm guessing they don't trust my calculations in the office because I'm having to rescale it. They wanted me to rescale it. So here we go. Now we got 11,360 on the steers. And okay. Now let's see what we got on the drives. 11,360. 33,800. We good on the drives now. And let's do the trailer. All right. 338 on the drives now. So the trailer thirty three seven thirty three seven thirty three eight can't get no closer than that yep 
Yep, yep. And the total weight is... Seventy-eight, eight sixty. There we go. All right, all right, folks. Just waiting on paperwork now, so I can get up out of here. And I'll get back with you, folks, in a few. All right, all right. Here we go, folks. I'm getting the hell up out of here. <coughs> yep, yep. Now let's go to Dallas, the other direction. Yes, sir. Here we go. All right, folks. All right. Now we're going to get back on the 183 right here. And we're going to truck up, heading back east. And then after I drop this one, I'll be headed south. Yep, yep. Oh, boy. see the ball up there. Yep, yep. Changing between. Yeah. That's pretty nifty the way it's the lights are doing on that ball. Yeah, yeah. 
So let's get over here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I can tell this load's heavy. My truck is not wanting to get up to speed at all. Man. Yeah, buddy. Five miles from five miles, we're five miles from eighty. So here we are getting back on by twenty. Yep, yep. We're getting back on I twenty. And then uh yeah. I'm in no hurry to get nowhere today. be stopping over at exit 33 I think probably where I'm gonna stop at and take a shower and then uh yeah that's exit 33 in Louisiana folks so yeah that's uh oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far oh that's there a bit of two and a half hours from now I don't know, baby. We'll see. Anywho, well, I'll get back with you folks in a little bit. Alright, folks. Alright, we've made it out to Dallas area. We're now 30 miles outside of Dallas. And, you know, still got some riding to do. We've been 215 miles a day. Not bad, not bad. It is 7.30 a.m. Yep, yep. But anywho, I'm going to go on and stop the video here for today and try to get it uploaded kind of early. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> y'all made it this far. Thanks for watching TTBE. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.